Hi, this is Rick Burnett from Erogenous Tones and the Woolly Mumble Collective. Today I want to talk about a Max MSP patch I've written to use the instrument in scale mode, which removes notes outside of a particular scale that you want to play. The reason this is not included with how the instrument works natively is due to the sliding mechanics. As you can see, the instrument currently is in normal mode, which right now it's set to C major and any of the notes that are not part of C major do not have any illumination so if you look if you were to move from this note to this note there is one note in between and if you move to this note to this note there is no notes in between but if you slide all the way across the difference in the frequency as you slide is consistent if I was to remove all the notes that are not part of C major and I moved from here to here I'd actually be moving two steps whereas from here to here is one step. So if you slid across that way, it just wouldn't make any sense sonically as the frequency shifting would not be consistent. So this is the reason that scale mode is not supported in the firmware. So the developers created something called user mode. User mode allows you to use the instrument in any way that you want. It changes the way the MIDI comes out and it allows you to send MIDI to the instrument to change the lighting. Originally, I wanted to make this a Max for Live patch, but the way that user mode works, it requires communication through channels, and Max for Live, when used inside of Live, doesn't pass channel information in, so that didn't work. The good thing about this, that it's a Max MSP patch, is that I could compile this into an application, and that application can be used by anyone that doesn't have Max MSP, and it can be used with any DAW that you want. I've also included the Max MSP patch so that if you are a Max MSP user, you can download it and then modify it to do anything that you want to do. So now that we've talked about that, let's go ahead and bring up the app and let's start using it. So if you've downloaded either the Max patch or the standalone application, I'm going to start the standalone application. It's very simple, comes up, little window, you can move it out of the way. Two buttons, start and stop. When you press start, you'll notice the interface changes. The magenta buttons are all the root notes and the cyan are just the ones in between. And you can hit stop and it will return to the normal mode. So we'll leave it on and we'll go ahead and bring up live. Alright, so I have live loaded with the analog synthesizer and I've just loaded up one of the default patches. So, first thing you want to do is go into the MIDI settings you want to make sure that the instrument MIDI is off and that the from MaxLin1 is on. MaxLin1 is the communication from this application. The reason you want to turn off the instrument is you don't want both the instrument and the app sending MIDI to Ableton. It will definitely result in stuck notes and incorrect notes playing together. Remember, when you stop using the instrument, you're going to want to go in and turn the instrument back on so that you can start receiving MIDI again. So we'll close that. And now if we go ahead and play what you hear there is C major and that was only the notes of C major. Of course you're probably not going to want to play in C major forever so if you hit the preset button it goes into this settings mode. What you have here is the first row sets between major and minor so we'll go minor the second row selects the scale, so as you can see, we'll go ahead and pick E minor. And the third row controls the octave, and it controls how much we're going to shift up from the bottom. So I'll go ahead and set three, because the MIDI starts so low, and there's so many notes on this. Let's just put a higher range up in the middle. So you go ahead and turn preset off, and now when I play through the middle... and now it is E minor. The other thing you'll notice is it's the way that the notes are offset from each other, it's designed so you can easily play chords. So if, I'm just going to play these in sequence up. And that's pretty much it. And now, as I said before, if you're done using this mode, you can go ahead and stop the user scale mode and then go back into settings inside of live and we'll turn instrument MIDI on and from MaxLin off and now all that expressiveness is back
I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and be sure to download the Linstrument User Scale mode from the links down below in the description.